Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Beauty Big Bang XL007 swatches. This is the unicorn plate. It is so cute. And funny enough, I have two of them. So today's plate is um, a dupe, which means giveaway time. I just need you to, you know, leave me a comment down below and I'll pick a winner. So here we go. We're going to be swatching with Queen's Blackjack and Pure White today. And also Beauty Big Bang's Gold and Blue, which is 011 and 001. I'll be using the Beauty Big Bang Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. Got to get this blue film off of here so we can get to it. I am really excited about this one because I didn't have... I had to do a Unicorn Manny earlier this year. And I didn't have but like one Unicorn image on all of the plates I owned. So this plate is great for that. Got it all cleaned off. We're ready to rock. And I'm just going to be all, you know, going back and forth between all these colors and... Like I said in my previous ones, I'm not really trying to come up with any, you know, groundbreaking color combos or anything. I just want you to see how well they stamp. The clouds did perfectly. And who wouldn't love a gold hollow cloud? Please. Love it. And like I said, you know, this was a duplicate plate for me. I've got two of them. So... I guess what I need you to do is just leave me a comment and let me know if you want in on the giveaway chance. Um, there might be people out there that already own this plate or have no interest in unicorns. So, you know, just let me know that you're interested in the plate. That way I can do a fair giveaway and do a drawing over on uh, YouTube's random comment picker. I love this image with the little unicorn and the, and the little stars hanging on a string. It's just so cute. It's adorable. I will show you better, um, you know, looks at these images at the end of the video. I am fighting and trying to, you know, get it in there, but I love that little unicorn on a moon with all the, and it just says magic. But I will definitely be showing you swatch pictures at the end. I just am eat up. And, you know, I didn't even know that I was crazy about unicorns until I had to do that collab video. <laughs> and then all of a sudden now I'm obsessed with them. Unicorn. Own some holla. Now I am trying to make fast work of this. I have sped this video up a little bit. Um, you know, just... Trying to do what I can do to show you what's on this without it being, you know, a long, drawn-out process. And the camera, of course, always struggles with hollow. But look how good that turned out. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love that there's so many full-size, you know, nail image designs on this one. Um, it's got the little ones up at the top, and that's just perfect. That way, if you want to do like this image on all of your nails except your accent nail, you could do one of those little images on your accent nail. My camera's going crazy. I just don't, I don't know what to do with it sometimes. You know, sometimes it acts perfect, and sometimes it acts wonky. Here we go. And that one's a little hard to see. Just a little, 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 little rough around the edges to see it with the hollow and the gold. And, but that one says believe. I mean, it's stamped really well. It's just hard to capture on film, on camera. Roll it. And I'm going to try to line this. I'm lining it up over what I just stamped in gold. And I'm doing that with the black just to help sh help it show up better. I lined it up pretty good. Kind of like it. Nope. Holding it like that doesn't really help that much, does it? There we go. That's a little better. All right. Heading on to the next image. I just really do like this plate. I've liked all of them. It's just 
I'm obsessed with stamping plates. And these are really good ones, so I guess it's a good thing. Look how good that, I mean, it's just so crisp and perfect. Ugh. Sometimes I make bad choices on the, you know, colors I'm trying to stamp with or on, but for the most part, these have been just top notch. I think that one turned out really good. Very nice. Now this next image, the shooting star, I really like that. And that's not totally unicorn, but it works with the unicorn theme. That one would just be good for all kinds of manis. This is so much fun. And of course that one doesn't show up really well either. So I'm going to have to do something with it also. And they're going to knock and stuff over again. I just have issues with that sometimes. I guess, you know, I want everything close so I can reach it easy, but then I'm knocking it all over the place. <laughs> and this one's cute. This is a really cute image. It's like little unicorn cupcakes or something. Perfect for like a little girl's birthday party. And you could probably isolate one of those little bitty unicorn cupcakes and do little bitty nails with it and make a little girl really happy for her birthday. And this one. This one's pretty too. I know. How many times can you say pretty? But I just love them. That one turned out really good. I'm a unicorn. And I'm a, I have flipped the plate over so I can get to these smaller images. Really like them. Y'all know my favorite one's coming up, you know, like last. But save the best for last, right? This one's really gorgeous. I could see you filling that one in, that image in. Ugh, doing some reverse stamping with that it would be so cool. And this one's like an origami unicorn. It's got like the lines in it or like a geometric unicorn or something. I just think it's cool. Sorry. Cotton apparently did not see the sign that said, Mommy's on the air. Stop. So look, there it is. It's, it's really a neat image. I like that one. So I apologize for Cotton's barking. You know, he's uncontrollable sometimes. He is barking at the neighbor's lawn man. How, how crazy. I don't know. Maybe he's protecting me in the polish. I don't know. This one didn't show up real great over that one either. So we're going to clean it off and do like we did with the other one and go over it with a darker color. See if we can get that one to show up better. The only trick is lining that rascal up. <laughs> you just got to line it up and hope for the best. I think it did pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Come on, camera. There we go. Got to put a little eyelashes. And now for my favorite one. This, is, this was what made me want this plate so bad, and that's how I ended up with two of them. This one image right here. Getting all excited, I want to see. Ta-da! And there it is. So that is my swatches of this beautiful plate from Beauty Big Bang. And here we go. We got our, our swatches to show. And I just think they turned out, all of them turned out great. Even the ones I didn't, you know, pick the right colors originally. They ended up working out. So there we go. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And don't forget to use my code if you go to Beauty Big Bang to go shopping. You can get 10% off your order if you put in PAC285 at the checkout. So that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.